And now let us pray for ourselves and for the world that God loves. Loving God, we come before you in prayer, trusting that your power works in the world in ways that we cannot imagine. We thank you for calling goodness forward, for supporting love and creating justice, even in situations which seem hopeless to us. Draw on our prayers this day as signs of your spirit at work in our lives. God of the world and all of its peoples, we pray today for those who lift up their voices in troubled nations, in the Ukraine, in Syria or Palestine, and in Af Afghanistan and Sri Lanka, in Ethiopia and Tigray, in Myanmar, and so many other places as the list seems to go on and on. Call the powerful to account, O God, and inspire leaders with the courage to listen to voices that cry out in pain and desperation. God of our everyday lives, we pray today for all of those whose everyday lives have been disrupted by forces beyond their control, for those struggling with the effects of COVID-19 or other illnesses, for those burdened by the rising costs of daily needs, and for those facing the effects of climate change on their communities. Inspire governments to combine compassion and good planning to respond to those who face such upheaval in their lives. God of the courageous and the compassionate, we pray for those who live out their commitment to the well-being of others day by day, whether they work in health care or education, in social work or public service or environmental concern. Support them in times of stress and inspire them to speak out when they see needs around them being neglected. God of our homes and our families, we pray for our friends and our neighbors near and far, for all who travel, and for those who find themselves strangers in new places. Draw near to one, to each one in deep need, especially those who are on our hearts this day and who we now name in this time of silence. O oh God, equip us, equip us to support those whose lives intertwine with ours, for we are your people, embraced by your love, which we claim now, saying together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our closing hymn, number 384, O Breath of Life Come Sweeping Through Us, sung once again by Marianne McVicker. <laughs> 